Hi everyone, this is Ryan from Uncanny Owl. A few days ago, LearnDash released a big update that was very exciting for us where they introduced dripping content by a specific calendar date. So in the past, uh, content could be dripped a few days after uh, someone enrolled in a program. Um, but now there's the, also the option of releasing it at a specific calendar date. So it's a great update, very exciting. But the problem we ran into, or the, the limitation, is that it only applies to everyone who's enrolled in a program. So if someone's enrolled in a program, everyone in that, uh, that program gets released the content on the same day. Now, for a lot of live sessions, that's not going to work because people will start in different groups. So for example, maybe there's a, a fall session for a program, a winter session, a spring program. So they would all start on different dates. And we need a way to make it so we can release content within those, those sessions on specific calendar dates. So applying it to everyone won't work. So we needed to find a solution where we could assign a drip date, a calendar date, by LearnDash group so that we could manage the, the attendees, the learners, within the group and make sure they all get content on the same day when they're supposed to. No matter which session they're in, it would be released on the right calendar date. Um, and in this case, we couldn't do it by number of days after enrollment, just because they might not uh, fall on the right weekdays. So this way we can tightly control exactly what we want to do. So what we did uh, was we built a plugin. Now before I get into that, I'm just going to show you what's, what's available now. So in the current version of the LearnDash plugin, you can select a certain number of dates to release content. So if I enter 10 here, the content would become available uh, 10 days after someone enrolled in the program. Or if I selected a calendar date, then it would mean everyone who signs up on December 25th, for example, or who signed up um, before December 25th would get access to the content on December 25th. So good for a lot of situations, but it doesn't help when you have different sessions you're offering and it's, it's scheduled more like a live program. So what we did was we created a plugin and I'm going to show you that. Um, and the plugin we created <clears throat> just adds an extra field. So when you go into the lessons section now with the plugin, it still has this option available where you can release it, you know, so many days after someone signs up. But it also lets you select a LearnDash group here, so from this drop-down list. And when you expand the drop-down list, it lists the LearnDash groups that are available in the system and the current drip date for those groups. So right now we just have two LearnDash groups in the system, and you can see when content will be released for those groups. And then there's a group for all other users as well. So if someone's not in that group, then they would fall into this category. And in this particular situation, the use case we're using, then people would only be in one LearnDash group at a time. Um, and if they were added to another one, um, whichever they were added to first would, uh, would take precedence. So what happens is, um, once, they, once that gets selected, then it shows the date here. And if we wanted to change that date, let's say we want to make it January 21st, for all other users, so people who are in demo group A or B, um, we'd select that and then we click on update and that will change the value for that group. So when we scroll down here again, we can see the values updated there. And now if we go to view the lesson as that user, so a user who's not in one of those groups, they would see this message. And then if they try to go to the course page, they would see that it's delayed until January 21st. So that's how we extended that plugin. Um, it's not something we're releasing at this point, but we wanted to see if there's any interest, if other people have that need, and then we could look at ways of releasing the plugin. Thank you.